yeah, it was bad. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel via Glow. If you're new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a pool with me. It is Monday morning and I have quite a few sales to get out. So my gross profit is $926 and a total of 35 sales. Two of them are bundles. One is on Poshmark and one is on eBay. And I'm actually excited about the eBay one because I didn't even know eBay allows like bundles. So I thought that was pretty cool, but let's just jump right in. All right, so this is a Knox Rose blouse. I actually wore this for myself son's uh, first birthday so um, I wore it and I'm like I'm gonna sell it and that's like the beauty of being a reseller you can pick up things wear it and sell it so we love that but anyways uh, this one actually sold for $20 I had it priced I want to say at $25 they sent me a $20 offer and I accepted it um, this one was titled Knox Rose women's top extra large long sleeve embroidered blouse red floral boho and I do think that is what sold it all right, so this is actually a Lane Bryant uh, knit cardigan sweater vest, <laughs> if you will. It's long line, it's open front, it has all the bells and whistles. Now, y'all already know how I feel about Lane Bryant. I typically try not to pick it up unless it's something like really good and it stands out. This one stood out because I knew that I can use the mob wife tag and um, I didn't know that it was going to sell this quickly, honestly. Um, I did make sure I didn't price it high. Just because we were transitioning out of winter, I didn't want it to sit too long. Um, so I did price it kind of low, um, but I priced it at $25 they sent me a $20 offer of course I accepted it this got a lot of attention on Mercari and that's actually where it sold um, and my title was Lane Bryant women's sleeveless cardigan 22 slash 24 animal print mob wives art to wear um, so yeah those are my tags so this is actually a brand that I don't typically pick up I think this is like the third time I found this brand and I thought it was worth picking up um, but the brand is called CNC California I picked this one up because it was plus size and it was chambray and I feel like chambray is a fabric like that is similar to linen around springtime where a lot of people like to wear because it it's like really lightweight so I do try to pick it up when I see it this one was actually titled CNC California women's blue denim chambray fringe ruffle top size 2x um I don't know this title looks a little odd but anyway so it sold this one sold really quickly I think that one was listed like a week and it sold so we love a quick flip all right so this is just a pair of overalls um they are like a straight leg honestly y'all this is my first time in a very long time picking up overalls um, I know that McThrifty say that overalls around this time is a really good style that people are looking for, but I just haven't been finding any brands that were worth picking up. But um, this is LEI. This was a size large. I think I did check comps before I even brought this one home just because I didn't want it to sit a long time. Um, and I didn't price it high either because I didn't want it to sit. Uh, so this one was priced at $25. I was hoping to get about $18 to $20 for it. Somebody sent me a $20 offer and of course I accepted it. Um, this one was actually titled LEI Women's Overalls Large Light Blue Denim Straight Leg Summer Spring. So these are a pair of American Eagle shorts. Um, I actually got these last summer and uh, these are from my personal closet and I wore them down. I love these so much. They're so comfortable, so stretchy. Um, however, since I have lost 20 pounds, uh, I can't fit them anymore. So I went on and listed them and I didn't think they were going to sell that quickly. I did price them at, um, I want to say $18. This person sent me a $15 offer and I accepted it. So I thought that was a really good uh, deal and a good turnaround on something that I wore for the summertime and then sold it. So so I have this one titled as American Eagle Women Shorts 18 Distressed Stretch Frayed Ham High Rise Shorty. All right, so we're gonna move on to my eBay sales. Uh, the first one is this Victoria's Secret, um, like, I wanna say this is actually a sleep top, but y'all know how the girls can wear like the camis and the slips outside. That's the reason why I picked it up. I did pick this up almost a year ago um, and it has been relisted multiple times. I had to drop the price multiple times and it finally sold for $16.97 on eBay. Um, this one was titled as Victoria's Secret Vintage Gold Label Jacquard Hunter green satin cami large um lattice which is like the hem i don't think i could put lattice hem so i just put lattice on it um but yeah this one took almost a year to sell these are a pair of gap 
uh, you know, leggings. I picked these up and honestly, I picked them up for myself because they looked like they had a shorter inseam. I couldn't get them above my thigh. So I was like, you know what, I'm just go ahead and sell them. Uh, so I did price them pretty low because typically when I pick up items that are for myself and I can't fit them, I just price them low because I'm like, okay, the intent wasn't to sell, it was for me. So let's just get it out the door. So I titled these as Gap Fit Women Pants Flare Wide Leg True Black Pull On Mid Rise G Flex Athleisure. So yeah. Those were all of the tags, and these were an excellent addition too. I was so sad that I couldn't fit them. These are a pair of No Boundary shorts. What's so funny about these, y'all, is the fact that I picked these up, I wanna say, had they been before last summer, which it might have been almost a year. It might be longer than that. I'll have to actually pop it on the screen. Um, but I've had these for a long time. Now, this is where I picked up something due to style and I didn't care about the brand. But when I listed it, I of course used the brand and people know the brand. People know that No Boundaries is from Walmart. Um, so I'll have them priced pretty high. Nobody was interested. So <laughs> they finally sold and this is probably the saddest sale. They sold for $8.46 on eBay. Um, and I'm actually happy to get them out the door. This title is very, very bad. Um, and going by how this is packaged, I've had this for over a year. Um, but the title is No Boundary Shorts Women's Vintage Patchwork 2000s Y2K Denim Cutoff Frayed 26. Yeah, it was bad. All right, so these are actually some Orvis linen pants. I don't typically pick up Orvis a lot. I try to pick it up when it's like a really good style, um, but this was linen and it was a plus size, or not necessarily plus size, but it was a larger size. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and grab it. Um, so I do have these titled as Orvis Women's 100% Linen Capri Pants, Large Blue Drawstring Elastic Waist Pull On. But yeah, so this was a pretty quick turnaround. I think I might have had these listed for under a month um, and I would pick them up again. So this one is a pair of REI women's pants. These were fleece like all over and they're like a little warm. Um, I was a little nervous on picking them up just because I didn't want them to sit around too long just because we were transitioning from winter to spring. Um, but I did think that they were still worth the pickup. Um, REI Co-op is probably the preferred brand to pick up instead of REI. So make sure you are vetting the style. So I did title these as REI women's pants medium black fleece pull on casual hiking outdoor zipper pockets and this one took i want to say maybe under three weeks to sell all right so this is actually a um brand that i've never picked up but i saw the fabric they both were linen pieces so i was like you know what let me take them home um i had noticed that they had like a stitching at the neckline which is actually somebody's initials so this particular brand which is called jay hillburn they actually make customized um like clothes so I picked this one up anyways due to the fact that I found one of them it was in excellent condition then I found the other one I was like oh you know what let me go ahead and try it out and I'll bundle them so I bundled them um, and they sold for $24.64 so this one was actually titled J Hillburn men bundle lot 100% linen button-down shirts extra large blue green summer and yeah it sold Okay, so this is a brand called Sophia, and it just said made in Italy, and that was the main reason why I wanted to go ahead and take it home. Um, but this one sold for $14.97. I didn't price it high because I couldn't find anything on the brand, and I didn't want to price it high and have to sit around and wait for it to sell. So this one was titled as Sophia Made in Italy Women's Top Small Off the Shoulder Vacation Resort Lined. So this is actually a Lane Bryant's Women's Top. I picked this one up due to the fact that it was a popover style. I thought the colorway was really pretty it gives very much a spring colorway you already know lane bryant is a plus size brand um so i picked this one up and i was thinking that i was going to sit on it for a while however this one sold really quickly this one was titled as lane bryant women pop over top 22 slash 24 white blue floral spring 100 cotton and this one actually sold for 16.99 okay so this was my very first bundle ever on ebay uh well first bundle that somebody bundled on their own like I've been able to bundle things for people but this is the first time they put it in their cart and they checked out um these are two different pieces this one is actually a John Mark top and this is actually a Kyla seal top so the Kyla seal top I actually got this one from the bins um and then this one I got it from buy sell trade store 
Now I did pay up for this one, which is kind of disappointing, but this one was a really good um, deal from the bands. Uh, this actually sold for $63.97 on eBay. So the Kyla Seal one, I actually titled this one as Kyla Seal Women Top Large 100% Cotton Embroidered Split V-neck Teal Blue Roll Tab. Um, and the roll tab is just that, you know, your sleeve will roll up and it has like a button to kind of keep it, you know, upward a little bit. So yeah, I thought that was uh, worthy of putting in the title because I do think some people search that out. All right, y'all. So this is a cute little um, IMG piece. Um, I'm not going to depict it that great, but the pop-up will show it, but I got this from the bands. Honestly, y'all, all of this stuff that I've shown y'all thus far and, you know, upward on is from the bands, except that one John Mark piece. So just a side note, I, I feel like I shouldn't have to tell y'all just because I am a bin shopper primarily. Like I literally get all of my inventory. I want to say at the very least about 85% of my inventory is from the bins and then the other 15% is not from the bins So just keep that in mind, but I got this one from the bins I actually saw the tag flash before I even saw the you know this colorway and I thought that alone was gonna help me sell it IMG is a great brand to pick up and then you pair it with something that I can use Mobs wives tag with so it just ended up working out this one didn't take long to sell I want to say at the very least about a good you know week if that um, but this one was titled as I am Gia Kiki crop top small leopard mob wives animal print halter neck date um, so typically for the date if I'm not able to put night on it I'll just put date so um, I do think that this is a piece that you know maybe a Gen Z would wear on a date so I went on and put that in the title because I do think that that could also be something that people search out date night top or you know what I'm saying so I try to you know keyword stuff this is a Madewell smocked top. I know that a lot of people have given up on Madewell. I am not one of those people. Now I am very, 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 very picky and particular about what I pick up. The condition has to be great. I don't pick up anything from Madewell anymore like that. The condition has to be great and the style has to be a style that people would currently wear versus me picking up something from, you know, 10, 15 years ago or hell, eight to five years ago. And it's a style that was probably just trending and it's no longer in style no I only pick up things that are still currently in style in 2024 um, so this piece I thought was perfect for the spring so of course I picked it up um, I titled this one as Madewell smock flutter sleeve top aloha floral small blue floral boho cottage um, now here I go again I literally could have dropped that extra floral out and had cottage core in there but that's okay um, this is why it's important to proofread I literally when I'm at my desk I'd be just typing my little life away and then I just push everything through so now I'm gonna at the very least read it over um, because 25 items to list on your own a day is a lot okay when you are working for yourself you are sourcing the items you are steaming phonographing measuring and listing the item and storing the item by yourself um, it gets a little crazy so you do kind of like cut corners and um, a corner that I have been cutting clearly is not proofreading all right so these are some man lululemon shorts I source these of course at the bins what's so crazy is that I had saw the logo flash before I saw anything um, this one is kind of like a monochrome style and um, I saw this and I was like oh yeah that's lululemon let me take it so I took it <laughs> and um, that one took I want to say like about a month to sell uh, so this one actually sold for my full asking price of $28.98 um, I did title this one as lululemon men's bowline shorts medium pull on burnt orange outdoor drawstrings now just a little quick tidbit here um, if you do find lululemon they do get you for stock photos so don't get any stock photos from their website directly i would suggest that if you are picking up something from them maybe use the the stock photo as like the second photo don't use it as the main because um i've been flagged i want to say maybe twice with lululemon stock photos so this is andre by unit this is just a really pretty pop over top it does have a little bit of embroidery to it Andre by Unit is a brand that is like a boutique brand, I want to say. It's kind of like UMG and THML where they do make really cute pieces that are like colorful, vibrant, and very boho. Um, and I do think that they all perform. Now, this particular brand, I try to pick up really, really, really specifically due to the size range versus picking up for the style because it does sit. But this one um, took about a month to sell. And this one sold for $16.98 on eBay. And I actually had this one titled as 
as Andre by Unit Boho Top 3X Gray Colorful Embroidered 3 4 Sleeve Rayon Popover. And I do think all of those factors help itself. So this is actually a Calvin Klein jumpsuit. This one surprisingly still had the tag with it. Not tag, I meant the, the tie. Uh, this one was a size 12. So with all of those factors, I was like, you know what? I gotta price this accordingly. Um, so I did price it a little bit high due to the fact that I think that it was gonna sell for that price point or at the very least about $30. Um, I sold this one for $32.98, which is my full asking price. The 98 cents lets me know that I actually relisted this one once. So this one did take a month to sell. And this one was actually titled Calvin Klein Women's Black Jumpsuit 12, Belted Split Flutter Sleeve, gold zipper <laughs> so yeah so the first thing is a three-piece bundle actually a really good uh, bundle deal y'all know that i give 30 percent off three or more items that are bundled together so they took advantage of that and they got three items bundled it and they got a 30 percent off deal so the first thing is actually these louise Raphael man pants um, it looks like they're shopping for themselves and maybe their husband, so we love that. But this one was actually titled Louise Raphael Men Pants 38 by 32 Dress Trousers Luxe 100% Worsted Wool Gray Slacks. These are actually some soft surrounding pants, which I'm so happy to see them go. Um, this one was actually titled Soft Surroundings Jeans Tan Stretch Casual Denim Straight Leg Embroidered Pocket. And then the last thing from the bundle is this Y2K Gallery Powder Blue um, like raincoat. I've actually had this one for some time now and um, I was happy to see this one go as well. So when she bundled um, the Louise trousers with this one and the other one, I got excited because I'm like, ooh, please get it out of my closet. <laughs> So this one was actually titled Y2K Gallery Powder Baby Blue Brown Button Midi Windbreaker Raincoat Jacket Large. Um, like I said, I have this one definitely had to been over a year now. These are actually a pair of dojo jeans. Now, I sourced these in a vlog that I think y'all just saw last week. Um, I sourced these and I went back and forth with myself due to the fact that they did have wear on the thighs. Like very visible you know and it had uh, wear between the thighs but it was just like okay these are the white stitching which are the rare like sought after ones um all dojo jeans are great but when you can find the ones with the white stitching it adds a little flair to it um so i did price these at 70 dollars. i think i got like a 15 dollar offer on these um so yeah i titled these honestly what i do now because i find so many dojo jeans i actually just go to the latest pair of dojo jeans that sold um and i just copy the whole title and then just put the whatever size it is like updated so this one was titled as seven for all mankind dojo jeans 26 inch flare dark wash denim white stitch rare low rise all right so these are actually a pair of uvita i want to say uh these are some pants that i actually sourced on a thrift trip which was a while ago um to me anyways and i picked them up and i noticed that the comps and everything wasn't really there but i said you know what they're linen they're an extra large let me just go ahead and get them and um i did have a viewer hey girl hey uh, reach out and she asked me what's the lowest i can go now typically i don't like to answer those questions but since she was a viewer hey girl hey uh i told her the lowest that i would go and it was 28 dollars and she um sent me a 28 dollar offer and of course i accepted it uh because i do think that that is an okay price point um i typically try to keep items that i source at regular thrift stores like above $30 because I feel like just the take home on it I want it to be a good balance now if I got these from the bands $28 would have been fine hell I probably would have been able to sell it to her for 20 or 25 but since I got these from a regular thrift store um, I don't really have like the best margin um, from that but I also wanted to give her a good deal so it was like a you know in the middle thing but anyways uh, this one was titled as Yavita women linen pants extra large blue cargo elastic waist pull on lag and look coastal now i definitely keyword stuff this just because you never know so these are actually a pair of mountain hardware uh, man's pants i actually got these from the bands of course um this particular brand for some reason it just don't seem like it moves like how it used to move i have an item that i sourced a long time ago that is still here and then i sourced another item from a regular thrift store gets a lot of likes won't sell um so i think i'm gonna really just like 
tighten it up when it comes to mountain hardware or just price it really low um if i find it at the bins but these were priced at 35 dollars. i was trying to get about 25 for them they sent me a $20 offer. I was like, I'm gonna accept it because it doesn't have any attention on any other platform. And let's just let it go. Um, but these are a pair of men hiking pants. And this is actually the perfect time to source hiking pants because hiking season is about to approach, okay? Um, but anyway, so this one was titled as Mountain Hardware Men Nylon Outdoor Pants Extra Large Tan Ankle Zip Buckle Closure. All right, so these are a pair of Hollister men like sweatpants. <sighs> y'all so over the summer i started picking up like hollister um abercrombie and fitch and american eagle sweatpants because you already know the y2k was really a thing and i started to notice that it gets so much attention so much attention and it just won't sell so i actually dropped the price um to i want to say 20 dollars because i think before i had it at like 35 because i was trying to at the very least get about 25 dollars for it but nobody was buying it got relisted so many times so i eventually um just dropped it to 20 dollars in hopes that somebody would send me a 15 to 20 dollar or maybe not 20 dollars maybe like 15 to 18 dollar offer and i would accept it um so they sent me a 15 dollar offer i accepted it um this one was titled as Hollister men sweatpants small vintage Y2K burgundy pull-on flare wide leg. Um, so yeah, definitely wouldn't do this again. So these are actually some uh, J. Crew men shorts. These are a performance short, and honestly, if it wasn't that slow this weekend, I would have countered. Um, but I went on and accepted their $12 offer uh, just because three more dollars like girl don't lose the sale for three more dollars because i did have these priced at 25 dollars and a 12 dollar offer what are you doing but i let it go um so it didn't have any attention on any platforms and j crew is already like a saturated brand so i'm like let me not even waste my time so i accepted the 12 dollar offer um i titled these as j crew men performance seven inch inseam khaki chino shorts 34 inch black label golf so, so i heard somebody say that putting like black label for j crew kind of like heightens the 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 performance on the item so so this is actually a men's nautica shirt i don't pick up nautica this is literally the first nautica piece i picked up i only picked it up because it was a 2x and it was 100 percent silk and it was giving very much so like vacation vibes so that was the only reason why i got it um this one sat for a very long time um i want to say at the very least about five six months um, but I received a $21 offer. I thought that was incredibly reasonable. So I went on and accepted it. This one was actually titled as Nautica Men Silk Shirt Extra Extra Large Paradise Navy Blue Green Leaf Short Sleeve Vacation. Um, and I do think that that is what pulled them in. But um, like Michael Kors, Nautica, very saturated. Um, it's just not the it brand anymore. So this is actually a Chico's Traveler's Slinky Dress. Um, this particular style, the Traveler's Slinky style, I do pick up in just about anything. Um, as long as the condition is great, I pick it up. Um, it sells for me. It definitely has maybe like a 75% sell through rate for me. Some items take a little bit longer to sell, but the other items, they, they do sell. Um, but this one, I actually titled this one as Chico's Traveler's Women Dress Black Slinky Peekaboo Arm <laughs> Scoop Neck 3 4 Sleeve. And this one sold for $25, which I think is my full asking price. Um, since it was my first time picking this up, I didn't want to price it too high because I didn't want it to sit around. Um, and due to the fact that it was a size one, which is actually a medium, I didn't want to wait that long. So I was hoping to get about 18 to 20, but since they bought it at my full asking price, I was really appreciative. So this is actually a J. Crew linen piece. I actually got this one, um, I want to say last week, and I listed it last week, and it sold this weekend. Honestly, y'all, I had this price at $32, um, and I planned on, you know, trying to get, at the very least, about $25 for it. Since it was slow, like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm completely content and happy with what I made, but I could have made a little bit more. <laughs> this uh, one was titled J. Crew 100% Irish Linen Button-Down Shirt 6 Ren. Baird McNutt 
tan coastal flax um i believe that was the actual name that they had on their website because y'all know that when it comes to j crew and like Maywell and probably a lot of other brands that i don't know of they do have like a, a style tag so you can just search up the style tag and you'll get the exact you know name and you'll get the stock photo for it so this is actually a john marks piece um i was so excited when i found this at the bins um this brand typically sells between 30 to 40 dollars for me um this one sold a little bit less than i would have liked um well i guess it's not really less but it sold for 30 dollars um this one was titled as john mark's women's tunic trailer print three-fourths cinched tie sleeve button front art um top and just look at this print i was like oh yeah whoever donated this like what are you doing but this is what the tag looks like and yeah i love me some john mark this is a Maurice's top now through a little research this brand didn't retail for a lot <laughs> um but i thought this print was worthy of picking up i've actually been experimenting with this brand i think i've picked up um, a total of three pieces now and um this is the first one to sell <laughs> And this one didn't take long. I want to say this one took like a little under a month. Now, what's so crazy about this one, or maybe two months, I'm not sure because I think it was relisted. So I received a $8 offer on this one. It had to been a month ago, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. Um, and I instantly declined and they never came back. So yesterday I received a $8 offer again and I looked at her photo. I'm like, okay, this got to be the same lady. So I didn't decline. I said, you know what? Since it's slow, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and counter. So I countered at 15 and they accepted it. And I'm just like, I'm wondering if I would have countered the first time what they had accepted it. But this one sold for $15. And I did title this one as Maurice's Plus Size Atwood Paisley 3 4 Sleeve Popover Blouse Top Black Green Pink. So yeah um it looked really nice i ain't gonna lie and i think pop over tops for plus size women is a really good style because it's not quite a button up it's not quite a blouse it's like right in the middle it's perfect it's like a a little cute henley style and then we got like a nice little loose fitting um situation so yeah pick this one up probably pick it up again all right so we got a good old mave maxi dress now y'all know i actually picked this up in a reseller vlog uh, maybe like a couple of months ago, but this one finally sold and I'm happy that it sold for a good amount. This one sold for $70. I think I had it priced at 95. Honestly, um, I went back and forth with myself when it came to pricing this because you already know I like to get really quick flips, but I have been working on trying to price my items accordingly, not just at a price point that I know it can sell quickly at, but just at a price point that it is worth. And this is a Maeve, you know, maxi dress, and it's an extra large. And um, this is a newer Maeve tag. So it was just kind of like with all those factors, let's get a good price point for this. Um, so like I said, priced it at 95 this one had 22 likers on um poshmark i did remember receiving like a 40 dollar um offer and i went back and forth with myself but i said you know what since i did sources at a regular thrift store 40 dollars is not going to work for me um so i waited and waited and i knew that it would eventually sell at the very least about 70 dollars and here we are 70 dollars <laughs> uh so yeah this one was actually titled as made by anthropology the cassandra maxi dress floral art to wear Henley Resort so I was actually able to find the um, exact style name and um, when you find the style name on items you're able to search it up on eBay and actually look at how much it actually sold for and um, the price points were all over like $60 so that's why I was like you know what I'm gonna price mine higher versus pricing it at a lower you know high mark at like $49 and hope that I can get $40 for it um, because the comps were there um, the comps don't lie okay all right, so this is actually a J. Crew knit blazer. These are amazing to find, okay? Um, I think that they are a pretty quick flip, a pretty good sale, especially if yours has no damage to it. I think I've sourced maybe like three of these in the past like three or four months, and two of them are damaged. <laughs> so uh, it took a while, but I want to say since the fall, I've sourced four of them. One was in great condition. I didn't price it high because it was a smaller size, which disappointing on my behalf because if it had no flaws and it was a good fabric content I could have got more for it but this one I believe was just like cotton or something because uh, they do make some with wool and then um you know the cotton ones and polyester so yeah this one was a size large and honestly y'all I feel like I definitely could have got a lot more 
due to the fact that it is a camel colorway and it's a size large but I have to be mindful of the transition we are in from winter to spring and I didn't want to sit on this piece um, so I received a $40 offer which I thought was incredibly reasonable so I accepted it um, this one was actually titled as J. Crew Women Knit Blazer Large Brown Tan Two Button Cotton Jacket Pockets Office so yeah got that one out the door fairly quickly I want to say this one was listed maybe for two weeks total and um it sold so we love that all right y'all so this is actually a uh, brand that i've picked up i want to say maybe three or four times and this is the first time it actually sold the brand is called billy reed um this is a women's sweater and um i titled this one as billy reed women crew neck cotton sweater medium gray woven fisherman knit um yeah so definitely got this one out the door thank god it sold because <laughs> uh, i didn't want to wait around till next year to to get it sold i guess it wouldn't be next year it would be just the uh, fall and winter time all right so this is actually a brand called painted pony at the time the um comps were really good so i was like let me pick it up this one was linen and it was from the 90s and it's embroidered it had all the factors going for it but it still didn't sell <laughs> um so i received a 20 dollar offer on it and i quickly accepted it due to the fact that i've had this i want to say at the very least about eight to nine months so i went on and accepted it this one actually was titled painted pony vintage 90s made in usa linen embroidered floral red jacket small all right and then the last thing to sell on poshmark was this new to me brand um it is an anthropology brand i'm sure i'm gonna butcher it but i think it's called uh mary catch or something like that now I checked comps and the comps were all over the place but they weren't that high and um, since I did get these from the bands I didn't want to sit around and uh, wait on it even though linen is the fabric of the spring um, it is a jacket at the end of the day so I didn't want to sit on it too long so I did price it I want to say at like $35 and my bot sent them an offer and they accepted it so this one sold for $26 with discounted shipping and um, the title was Anthropology Marrakech Women Linen Blazer Jacket Medium Tan Coastal and yeah this is a pretty good sale so make sure you guys leave this emoji if you actually stay to the end um, but yeah thank y'all so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one bye